rock stars. I am in Morristown, Tennessee, and I'm standing in front of the Whisper Room Inc. headquarters. This is the factory where Whisper Room makes their incredible ISO boosts. But let's go inside, meet these guys, and go check it all out. Hey, hey Liz. man, how are you, dude? Welcome to Whisper Room. Benton, great to meet you. Me too. Hey, Alicia, what's going on? Gabe. Hey, Gabe. Come on in. Groovy, come on in. Oh. Guys, thanks for uh, having us here at the headquarters. Do you call it the headquarters of the factory? This or? is a, we call it the plant, but yeah, the we plant? call it the headquarters. Right, this is where groovy, the magic groovy. happens. I can see immediately that you've got a booth ready to go, That's waiting right. for us in here. So this is kind of our R&D room. We'll do a lot of our testing in here. Uh, you want to step in and try it out? Yeah, sure. Let's, let's see what this is all about. So this is beautiful. I love the whole finish on this guy. Whisper Room makes ISO booths that are ready to be assembled in your studio. What does it take, like an afternoon when, when one of these ships? To... Yeah, for, for something of this size, Gabe and I could do this maybe in about six to eight hours. So the smaller booths wow. were a, more of a phone booth. You can put that together in just a couple of hours. That's really incredible. So this, this thing that looks like permanent construction really is one afternoon and you guys had a studio built. That's right. All right, cool. Yeah, let's, let's uh take a look at this and see what it looks like. It's immediately quiet in here. It just feels like you get that nice, you know, I always think of Maxwell Smart and they had like the cone of silence. That's and, it. We, we get that every <laughs> once in a while. <laughs> get smart. You know, you just go in, it's like, whoosh. Um, what's all this stuff on the walls here? This so is, this is a sound treatment? Yeah, it's an optional feature. We call this our acoustic tuning package. And basically, if you have parallel walls, you're going to get standing waves. And this is kind of our, our system that we built to combat that. So each one of these panels, you can actually customize these and switch them and put foam on them or other materials if you'd like to, to get the acoustics that you're looking for. Well, you can flip these out and just like spin them around and stuff. You sure could. Now, how much of a difference does it sound, you know, when you've got the blue side out versus the, the sort of the fabric or, or carpety side? So this is Orlex foam. This is a, the more foam you have in the room, the more dead it's going to feel. So some customers want a really dead feel in their room. Uh, some want it to be a little more lively. Uh, and in that case, they wouldn't want as much foam. Yeah, and so. you just hear that in the headphones when you're when you got your voice on a mic or something like that. You just get a feel for it probably pretty quickly. That's right. Who likes to have it all blue and who likes to have it all black? A lot of the voiceover artists, they'll want to cover up a whole bunch of, of the room with the foam, um, especially if they have their mic in a the corner. They, they definitely want a dead sound. Uh, for some of the, the less in practice or so, they might want a, a little bit more of a hall sound, so they may not put as much uh, acoustics in there. I know we've uh, shipped to a lot of companies for lessons and typically they don't put too much acoustics in there. I mean, we get this beautiful lighting up top. I love the, the vibe in here. It feels really groovy. You know? I appreciate that. So up here, this is what we call our studio light. And uh, you can, it has puck lights in here that you can adjust the intensity of the light. Ooh. And then you can also change the colors to whatever you'd like oh, it to be. Nice. You can make it roll around. Uh, totally vibe it out. Absolutely. So if you're doing voiceover and you're doing a villain, you might want a red, it kind of give you that aura. But overall, this booth is our, uh, it's an eight by 12 foot booth. Uh, this is our double wall system. So we have a single wall and a double wall. Uh, the double wall is gonna obviously make the ambient noise about a 75% reduction, which is a bit more significant than the uh, single wall. Um, this also includes a height extension, a wide access door, and a raised floor. All right, so we've got the elevated floor, which has got that classic kind of like um, floated floor concept that That's we're right. familiar with with studios. And then the double wall construction is because uh, when you're trying to do sound isolation, air is one of the best sound insulators, right? That's right. So if you're going to have a wall, then you've got that gap between and a, and a second wall. So, I mean, it is literally a booth inside of a booth, and you can kind of see in between the glass here uh, the, the space. Do you ever drop quarters down in there by accident? Some things you gotta drop back there. <laughs> so you've also got the double glass panes, and it looks like each one of these is a double glass pane too. That's right. Well, that's groovy. And then is there like a spec for how much sound isolation it is? Is that even meaningful? I mean, it just is pretty clear that it's nice and quiet. And right. We, we do have a chart. Um, we had a third party come out and, and test it out a few years back. It depends on the frequency, the, the dB. Uh, there's a bunch of factors, yeah. but we do have all that online if you'd like to take a look at it. You could easily fit a drum kit in here. So you said this is the 8, eight by 12. 12. Here, oh, yeah. the multi-jack panel. I don't know if you're practicing or recording or whatever, instead of running all your cables through the door or something like that. Um, there's a, the same components on the outside of the booth. So you can plug your XLR cables, your quarter inch cables, the outside wall. That's groovy. Oh, and is it just like right Velcro here. or yes, something it too? So, so it's like movable. So you're not you're not committed to the location. Yeah, you can have yeah. it so anywhere you want. Higher, you can put it put it wherever you want. Really, put it on the floor. 
And then you've got like, you've got USB jacks too, I love it. Yeah, charge your phone. You can set up your drum set in here. You can um, mic up a kit, mic up your instruments, and then just patch them straight into here. And then on the outside, on the other side, you could continue your patches and you don't exactly. even have to like, run cables through the wall or you know oh, yeah. you, you just put in this amazing iso booth you don't want to have to leave the door cracked to get the cables out like i do at my studio right. another couple cool things is uh, all of our booths come with cable passages so that that's an optional feature this they all come standard with this though which is basically you can wire in uh, any any you know uh, surge protectors or any kind of cabling just through uh, these little plugs so you could plug in your amp or whatever other equipment into uh, your extension cable. Groovy, so it's super easy to get power. I always, that's always been like a pet peeve of mine in a studio is, is I felt like when I built my studio, I wanted to like never have to look for a power connection. Right. Just like turn around, there's power, plug in, you know, and go. I bet another of your pet peeves is uh, getting ventilation into your room, is yeah, that right? Yeah, I was right? gonna say, like we're still alive. We're still alive. How's that possible? This room is actually completely ventilated right now. So okay. a booth of this size, it has uh, three vent sets. And basically, those are on the outside. So these panels almost do diffusion for the air. They sure do. And probably help with the sound isolation, right. too. And it's really quiet. It's quieter than the AC in my studio. <laughs> so on the outside, there's a series of boxes that have baffles that will help isolate that sound, but it still keeps the airflow. All right, cool. And then what's this thing? Is this so I can do my pull-ups? That's exactly. The, uh, ISO booth here or <laughs> no, this is a, actually it's a support beam. Uh, so for our smaller booths, it doesn't include this beam. But since this is a, a large enhanced booth, uh, we do uh, have these beams to help support the weight. Okay. Um, you can actually double this to equip uh, mics or cameras or, or other. Yeah, equipment. that's what I was going to say. So can you actually like mount? mic stands and boom arms and cameras to the ceiling in you the sure sky? Because I think that would be really useful, like set up a drum set and instead of having to put the stands all over the floor, just have them, you know, some right. kind of boom arms come down from the ceiling to, to mount mics. Exactly. Well, we've seen everything. We've seen people hang monitors up there. I mean, it, yeah. it, some people get really creative. And now, what about with the AC? If we wanted to turn off the ventilation for just a moment, is that something that you can do or do you kind of just leave it leave it running usually we'd recommend leaving it running if you're going to be in there for more than 15 minutes right. but you can turn it off the, well, how the... long can you hold your breath that's the... <laughs> exactly <laughs> you're not going to suffocate in it but uh you know it's, it will get a little bit stuffy uh, we usually have a little switch that comes with it where you plug the ventilation in it's just an on off switch so you can walk in and press you know on and turn it on i see the doors are all they've got the extra seal looks like the door is like a double thickness build or something so it's super solid again it's got the double Double window action in the doors. Right. It's like a door inside a door. So this is our ADA package, and that's it includes the wide access door, the elevated floor, um, and it also would include a ramp. So we have a ramp that fits right up here. So if you did need wheelchair access, oh, there's no good. threshold. You can you can pop right into the booth without a problem. That's groovy. Yeah, that's that's definitely helpful. I've had you know somebody show up with a wheelchair before in the studio and needed to uh, figure out how to make it easy for them to get around. So right. that's groovy. All right, well, so uh, where do we want to go next? We can go check out the plant. All right, we're going back outside. Awesome. All right, thanks. So wait, these things don't just grow on trees. You guys actually have to build them in a, in a big factory? <laughs> That's what we have to do. All right, awesome. Would you like to see the process? Yeah, let's go see how these come together. All right. All right, so the first thing that I notice when we walk into here is that just that fresh smell of wood. I love the smell of wood in the wood shop. It smells great. It always smells like this. Yeah. <laughs> so this is pretty cool, and it seems actually pretty quiet in here right now. Right now it is. It's Usually we have a bunch of machinery running. We have two CNC machines that are running pretty much the full time during the work day. Okay, I always hear about CNC. That's like that's the routing machine that like will cut things out. Exactly. On, on it's an fully exact automated. Plan. We sit there, we program it, we put a piece of wood on there, it comes out of the panel. Wow, and then somebody's working on a panel right now. Yeah, Brian is, looks like he's working on a uh, IEP door frame. Okay, cool, and then what is it, what kind of material is this? This is an MDF, medium density fiberboard. Okay, and so and it's got a real heavy um, density to it, so That's that right. it's, well I guess it's medium density, medium but density, still, yeah. it, it helps keep the sound from traveling. It is through, great acoustical, right? yeah, capabilities. Yeah. Hey man, how are you? I'm Lidge. Uh -huh. Hey Brian, nice to meet you. So how long have you guys been making ISO booths here at Whisper Room? We've been making them for 29 years. 29 years we've been making them. Well, we'll watch this thing in action for a minute. So 
So these right here are just, these are door frames, right? And I think you were saying these are the most detail-oriented pieces to have to assemble and cut out for these. And then is this like a, is this a big window panel or something right here? Is that, oh, that's the frame and then the door's gonna go right in there. And you can see like a future hinge here for a door hinge probably, right there. And all these precise cuts that the CNC machine is making means that these will assemble and fit perfectly so that you get that nice soundproof tight assembly and construction. And that's part of the secret for making this work so well. Cool. cool. Should we go to the, is there a next room that we yeah. should go to? All right, it's a little bit quieter in this room. What? So now what room is this that we're in here? So this is our warehouse where we actually store all the components. All so right. we're the only company in the world that manufactures sound booths that can actually ship them out that next day. So if you ordered a booth from us today, we're going to go pull the components and have it on a pallet and ready to ship it for you tomorrow. Good Lord, that's amazing. <laughs> sure is. <laughs> that's faster than I can turn a record around. <laughs> we can walk through and look at some of this the and go to the loading docks. Here, or so right here, this is where we keep everything in stock. So when an order comes through and we're preparing to ship it out, we just pull the correct components on the packing list, put it all together, so everything's ready to go here. So this is essentially just our, our inventory that's right. ready to ship out. So it's kind of like um, modular almost, like each box represents different modules of building this thing. Exactly. And you can just put it all together, just go right. pull one of those, pull one of those, pull one of those, and build a booth. Yeah. So each component is stacked on a pallet, and uh, and wrapped up. So we have uh, one shipment going today. This right here is somebody's future musical dreams about to be realized in their studio. So we take a lot of precautions to try to make sure that it gets their one piece. Sometimes the uh, shipping companies are not so gentle with the, the packages. This looks like you teamed up with the uh, the famous artist Cristo to kind of get this, this design <laughs> ready to go. We're one of the few companies that actually use red shrink wrap. So we say if the, if the customer gets their pallet and it's not in red shrink wrap, something's wrong. If it's not red, yeah. then I don't know what rhymes with that. But. <laughs> Tim, this is Liz. Hey Tim, I'm Liz Shaw. Nice to meet Tim you. Tim does all of our shipping. So you make sure that stuff goes out and gets shipped out to everybody so that they got the new ISO booth in their studio. Yeah. What's, what's one of the big challenges about doing something like that? Foreign shipments. Foreign shipments? Yeah, Just trying to get it to another country? All the documents and everything that need to go together so that uh, it can go through customs. It's always paperwork, isn't it? It just always comes down to paperwork. <laughs> yes. This hey, is Gary, Gary Lewis. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. This is your plant manager. So oh, he cool. actually right runs on. the show. Right on. We get to go upstairs now. And See what's up here? Yeah, there's a lot of our foam and hardware up here. This is kind of, this feels like a playground up here. So we have five different colors of foam that uh, we offer our customers. <clears throat> okay. Uh, burgundy, purple, orange, blue, and gray. Burgundy, purple, orange, blue, and gray. That's right. Will I be quizzed on that later? Who tends to like the, the burgundy and the purple and the orange and the blue and the gray? Well, us being UT fans, we are always pushing orange. Yeah, That's right. the color That's of right. our school. Of course, there it is on the shirt. Right, but uh, blue is probably our, our most popular color. Good all around, it fits with almost any studio. Purple's kind of niche, but I, I personally, I love the purple. Yeah, purple's regal. It's the right. royal color, right? Exactly. And uh, burgundy just sort of reminds me of growing up in Massachusetts around Harvard. Harvard, so right. there you go. Competing colors, I guess. Absolutely. <laughs> we have some customers that they'll get a mixed match of all the colors, so we'll make a little tie-dye room. What are top hats? <laughs> uh, the top hats are uh, these little port tubes that oh, actually cool. squeeze in for the, the where the vent walls go. It'll oh, help nice. hold the vent box on the back and line it up. Right on. And then I saw there was another thing over there that said base traps. If you saw on the ATP at the corner of the booth, those uh, kind of dense uh, corner foam pieces, those are called base traps. This is like all the little bits and pieces that go into uh, each hardware box. For the, things, that's so. right. So obviously we have 26 different sizes. So every single booth is going to have a different number of hardware, especially when they come with different height, you know, optional features. If they get a height extension, it's going to require more bolts, more hardware. Um, so we have a packing list over here that will show with every combination of what exactly, you know, pieces of hardware that that's they need. That's right. And then we, have, and it's, then it's we get the little printout and we're like, 
A3. Okay, A3. That's right. What are these things right here? These are uh, caster plate attachment plates. For some of the larger booths that uh, you have a caster plate for, they'll kind of squeeze together and then you tighten them down by using these plates. Okay, so which means you can you can roll the booths around. Okay, so these are like the wheels right here that can live underneath your booth so that you can just roll them right around in your studio and choose your location. Cool. So where are we headed next, guys? Let's head over to the wrapping department. I like the sound of that, the wrapping department. <laughs> Sounds like we're at Santa's workshop or something like that. It's a little bit of a walk. We can take the walk or we can drive. It's up to you guys. Is it driving like in a golf cart? Driving in a golf dust cart. Dust kicking up? We should do that. <laughs> <laughs> Just a couple of buildings over there or something? Yeah. So you guys get, get to take a little stroll every day. Right. So this is where all the, every component gets wrapped in this fabric. Once the, all the components are made in the wood shop, we'll have a team that puts it on a truck and drives it over here. But they then get wrapped, boxed up, and then removed back over here and put on the shelves for uh, shipping the next day. But it would be ideal if they were next to each other or at least on the same side of the road. Well, it just reminds us how hard you guys are working to uh, put these booths together for That's us. Right. <laughs> yeah, the, the building that we were just in where the shipping is, everything used to be done in that one building, from sales to the wood shop to the wrapping and inventory storage. So uh, you guys have really grown over 30 years. We really have. My father actually founded the company and he played saxophone. Oh, so right he was on. trying to uh, build a booth so he didn't disturb his condo neighbors. So uh, everybody was like, Ben, this is a great idea. You need to you need to start selling this product. And he said, okay. And he, he quit his day job and started manufacturing Whisper Rooms. That's fantastic. So what are the sort of far reaches of the world that Whisper Room booths will be found in? We've shipped to 96 different countries. I mean, they are all over the place, everywhere from China to some uh, African countries, uh, Latin America, lots into Canada. What about some of the unusual use cases for an ISO booth? We did have one woman that bought one for her parrot. I'm Just keep the parrot kind of quiet. A very glorified parrot cage. Wow. And then um, how about, um, what's that new thing where people like whisper into microphones and do all that kind oh, of stuff? Yeah. ADSR yeah, something or something like, like that. that. Yeah. There was one guy I talked to on the phone and he bought one. Uh, no windows and he was using it for a meditation room. Oh um, yeah, I could see that. Black it out and get in there and remove all the sounds and it's peace and quiet. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I have a, what I call, you know, a, a dead room. I call it the phone booth in my studio. Mine is a perfect example of like why Whisper Room is so cool because mine was a huge effort to design and build this permanent thing and it cost like a ton more than I thought it was gonna cost, you know? And it's like, it would've been so easy to just to drop a whisper room right in, in a corner of a bigger room. That's right. And if you're going to move, then you have to leave it there. I know. So that's know. the problem. And then the new people will be like, tear this out, you know? Uh, wow, you guys have to have an entire room just for boxes. We have a lot of different components, as you've seen, and it uh, requires a lot of different boxes. So these are future boxes to just hold panels in and ship them out. So boxes, glass, fabric, all of that's going to be uh, delivered to this location. That's all used in the wrapping department. All right, cool. So this is where you guys are wrapping the fabrics and putting them on to all the components? That's right. They'll get delivered right where we're standing and come through here and get kind of assembled in an assembly line. Right now, it looks like they're working on corner seam seals, which are required for every single booth. It's a corner piece that actually attaches the panels together. Uh, you can kind of see right here, you'd have one panel come in right here and the other panel come in here and then they would bolt in really tight. Oh, so this is the corner of a room right here. That's correct. Right on, because you got to have nice airtight seal when you're trying to do soundproofing, right? That's right. It's as strong as its weakest point, so everything's got to be top notch. Yeah. Morning, guys. So this is like the gluing on the fabric right here, right here. Hey, I know what that thing is. I had to use one of those to put a screen door back together recently. Don't mess with the guy with big scissors.
So items like this are much more tedious than one large panel that has no windows or anything. You can see the fine detail that these guys are putting on for these window frames. Yeah, so each one of these is going to have the glass installed after they've got all this stuff wrapped and everything. It's pretty cool to watch these guys work. Like, they're so precise and they've got, like, such obvious skill sets just in the way that they're addressing each little detail, you know? Yeah, right. There's the standards for the glass companies, and we actually, our standards are higher than their standards are. So oh, we kinda, like that, we like that. Yeah, we make sure there's no no dents or no uh, little marks inside the glass whatsoever. That looks kind of fun. That's the baffle thumb we were talking about with the vent sets. Well, we can take a look at a, a up close vent set here in just a minute. Sure, yeah. You guys need like one of those bounce house rooms or something. That'd be great. So, all right, so these are glass panels that are ready to be installed in finished booths. You can see this is pretty heavy duty glass. It's the double pane glass, so it's isolated, you know, with some air gap in the middle of this thing. And it'll also keep you nice and warm and toasty inside your booth. Or cool. Or cool. Now, is it a challenge for people to stay cool in a booth sometimes? Or is it more like as long as the temperature is right outside the booth and the ventilation keeps it equalized? For the most part, if, if the uh, outside room is pretty cooled, you're going to have the same temperature in the inside, inside the whisper room. For some customers, they'll actually use an HVAC and just pop a tube right onto that and pump in that cool air directly into the whisper room. The heat generating stuff like the computers and the gear, that's all outside the booth because you're putting the nice quiet mics right. inside the booth anyway. Now what's the smallest booth that you guys make? The smallest we have is a 42 inch by 30 inch. So it's, it's really just a tiny little closet. It's great for voiceover work, but don't expect to put a table or a, even a, you know, a chair in that booth. But you can stand inside it you if you want? You can stand inside, right. that's right. All right, so this is like all just massive rolls of fabric and stacks of foam and stuff like that. It's a lot of fabric. So this is the uh, booth actually just rolling on casters. You can just move it right around the room. That's amazing. What size booth is this right here, guys? Four by six, right? So this is one of the ones that is on uh, promotion right now over exactly. recording Studio Rockstars. So it's just perfect for two people to get in for a podcast, for recording, or get in there with a guitar amp, or a snare drum, hi -hat. Totally, I think you could do a mini drum kit oh, in this, yeah. probably. If you mention recording Studio Rockstars at Whisper Room, um, they're running a promotion now for the 4x4 and the 4x6 booths. I think you get 10% oh, off. Oh yeah, 10% right? off. It's pretty fantastic. Single wall or double wall, so make sure to take advantage of that, okay? All right, dig it. Thank you for that, guys. All right, so this is the outside of the booth, and this is the ventilation soffits and everything that gives you the, you know, the combination of the ventilation and also the sound isolation. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So um, we have this whole baffle system to uh, quietly pull in fresh air. Right down here, you can see this is where the warm air, or the air that's circulating inside, is actually pulled out into the room. Each one of these components here has a series of baffles, so it's a foam component that runs through like that to keep the air nice and quiet. So when you have four of these combined, the sound of air coming into the booth is very low, so the microphone won't pick it up. That gives you just a very quiet environment to record in. It's kind of fun. I feel like I want to run a marble through this whole thing and see what happens. <laughs> cool, so yeah, you can feel it's pulling in air there, spitting it out down below, no problem. We can actually mount this uh, whole ventilation system on the rooftop as well, um, if you don't want it hanging off the side of the room. So. Uh, there's a lot of flexibility to customize your booth and um, we'll work with you, our sales reps will, to set you up with exactly what you need. Oh, so that's cool. So if you're getting one of these for your space and you're a little concerned that it's, you know, your space has these limitations, you're like, I don't know, is it going to fit right here or whatever? You guys can help sort that out and make sure that it's going to work out in the end. That's right. Right on. Wow, I like that it's very resonant in kind of a cool way. It might sound really cool on a kick drum. Yeah. Be like, doom. That sounds like a kick drum. It right does. Now. Yeah, I think you could squeeze a kick snare and a hi hat in here, probably, probably you know. Just close mics, you know. If you run a mic off the ceiling, maybe you can come down and like have an overhead on the drum kit too yeah. if you wanted. So. But in my experience, like when you do these kind of dead room, you know, tight room drum micings, it's all about the close mics anyway. Right. You know? you compress it like insanely. <laughs> That's cool. I love the way this stuff feels. It makes you just want to like lay your head on it and just rest. <laughs> rest on the nice fabric. <laughs>
Now, how heavy is one of these guys? So this one, since it's an enhanced, it's gonna have double the components. This has gotta be around 1,200 pounds, I believe. 1,200 pounds, all right. Right, and, and they'll so, get up to 55, 6,000 pounds for some of the biggest models that we have. Right, okay. And then what does that mean for somebody when they're considering the location this is gonna be? How much do you have to make sure that it, that the weight is gonna be cool in the space you're gonna put in? Is yeah, that we, ever an issue? Um, sometimes, I mean, as far as like weight limits on floors, and we recommend that you, know, you check with your architect, but for for yeah. the most part, per square foot, like the refrigerator is going to be heavier per square foot than a whisper room is. Oh, so. really? Okay. And I guess if we put enough people in there and have a real party, then, then yeah, <laughs> you might change that. But okay, so what are these right here? So these are base straps. These are meant to go into the corner of a booth, as such, and these will help get those lower frequencies. All right. Yeah. So they kind of soak up the low, the lows in there, and make sure that that sounds tight. Exactly. So that your kick drum sounds awesome. That's right. And you can just stack as many of these as you want in each corner, right? Well, we would recommend stacking it all the way up to the ceiling. So with our ATP package, these come standard with it. Uh, you can also purchase them separately. And they look sharp, rock stars, but if you bump into them, it doesn't hurt. So this is uh, this is just like history of the company right here. Yeah, this is all from the early 90s. And that's my mother. She was actually a part of the company for some time, too. And there's an early booth right there. You can see how the product has evolved over the years. Is this your dad right there? Yes. All right, cool. So now we are in the sales office. Is that right? You make it all happen. Oh, well, I try. So like, how does an order typically come into you? Is it like through the internet, through an email, or people just call up, or just like a little bit of everything? Yeah, so we get um, email leads, and we also have people call in every day. So typically, we just work with our clients and um, work up a quote that is specific to their needs. And once they're happy with the quote, they're processing the order we ship it out in a couple business days and have it to them just as soon as we can that's awesome well thanks for letting us come and invade your world here cool well thanks for letting us come in get some shirts Cheers. i'm a media. Media. yeah this was the uh, elusive gray earlier right it is just like the booth is covered in nice stuff <laughs> how quiet is the shirt Pretty quiet. Guys, thanks so much for uh, showing us around. The, the company is totally amazing. Gabe. It's been our pleasure. Thank, thank you, thank you for coming. Um, it's really cool to see it, man. It's really cool to hear the history of the company, of your dad and everything like that. What was it like to grow up here and be around all this stuff? I mean, it's been around me the, my whole life. I remember playing with action figures in the back room when I was four or five years old. So it's uh, it's pretty surreal now that I'm I'm here working here. So we we'll hope for great things for you guys. I really appreciate it. And, thanks uh, for coming by. Yeah, awesome. Well, thanks for watching. Let the rock stars know how they can find you guys online. Where do they go to check out Whisper Room? Uh, you go to whisperroom.com, or you can find us on Facebook. Just type in Whisper Room. Instagram, Twitter, everything's just the whisper room. And just a reminder, Rockstars, that if you mention Recording Studio Rockstars when you call and contact Whisper Room, you can get 10% off the 4x4 booth or the 4x6 booth, single wall and double wall construction. Thanks for doing that, guys. You're welcome. All right, cheers. See you guys in the next video.